Hey guys, this is Bear Gaming and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are going to discuss about tomorrow's scheduled maintenance. So tomorrow is a Thursday and as usual, you already know that Exos Heroes has updates every Thursday. So here in the announcement page, you can see the very first button here. There's the title or notice, September 22nd, Temporary Maintenance. So it will be tomorrow, and as always here in Philippines, it's going to be 10 a.m. There will be a new package for all of you who's buying stuff or items from Exos Heroes. And there's going to be a Choice Fate Curry again. So this is also known as a rebanner for the Fate Core team Phantom in Wonderland. So these are the heroes. It's going to have a Choice Fate Curry or rebanner for tomorrow. That's going to be Phantom Shadow Rhaenor, Brilliant Gold Kruger, or Pata Morgana Hinder. So if you guys are building the Wonderland Nation, there will be another chance for you again tomorrow. You'll be able to get one of these heroes. So as usual guys, for Choice Fate Kure, the first summon or pull is going to be 200 Cess and the succeeding will be 700 Cess. There will be another artifact tomorrow. This is actually considered a rebanner because this is not a totally new artifact. This is called Enchanted Sword Dance Lovely. This is the image. And let's check out its skills. For level 0, it says here, 50% chance to revive with 30% health upon dying. Grants a barrier equal to 20% of maximum health for 6 turns upon reviving with this effect. And if it's going to be level 30, there will be a 100% chance to revive. This is actually for defense type heroes or for knights and I tell you guys, I haven't gotten a copy of this and tomorrow definitely I'm going to get one because this is such a very nice artifact. It will give your tank a chance to revive. So there will be some updates in Yorm's exchanges, particularly Artifact Stigma shop list update. There's going to be some artifacts here. I think this is the gold um, gold grade or fated grade artifacts. There are one, two, three, four, four fated grade artifacts and four legendary. You can see on the left portion of the screen the grade or the stars so five stars represents fated grades and four stars are the legendary or the purple ones you can see the price for the fated it's about 520 artifact stigma while for legendary it's just 170 also uh, artifact enhanced material shop and there is a, this is actually not a banner, but this is a repeat of the Get the Red Declaration Carry event. Actually, this was already released a few months ago. So this is the second time. So if you haven't gotten this yet, there will be another chance for you tomorrow after the update. So you can get this limited edition costume or Get the Red or Red Fate Core costume for carry. So this is what it looks like. This is actually really nice and the animation is also very nice. So all you have to do is do a series of um, daily events, I mean daily missions, I mean weekly missions and also seasonal missions. Just complete it every day, every week and 
earn points and if you get around 6,000 points you'll be able to get a copy of the Red Fate Core carry. So I think that will be all for the updates. Yes. There's quite a few. Unlike last week, there's only the Choice Fate Core. But now, there's another artifact. So again guys, this is not a totally new artifact. It's considered a rebanner or re-release. And as well as for the Red Fate Core carry, this one, Declaration Carry. This is also a considered a repeat event. And actually, if I remember correctly, if we check the Red Threads of Fate, if we tap this button, it seems that Episode 3, Red Threads of Fate of Battery, is going to unlock tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited. So expect that Probably tomorrow or Friday, we are going to continue with the episode 3 because this is going to be new or fresh and I can't wait. You know how I really love Red Threads of Fate because we've been doing this from episode 1 and episode 2 already and it's actually super short so you can just do this in one sitting so I can't wait what will happen to the story in episode 3. So remember guys... There's only 11 hours left and 4 minutes as of, as of this time. So if I were you, you have to complete the episode 2 so that you can see right away tomorrow with the episode 3. So that will be all guys for today. I just want to share you the updates that's going to happen tomorrow. And so far, I really don't have any plans to continue with chapter 24 in my second account because it seems that I'm not yet ready and my heroes are not yet ready as well. So here in my main account, um, I also have nothing else to do, just doing my dailies. But tomorrow, we are going to continue with the episode 3, Batteries, Red Threads of Fate. And aside from that, also be prepared uh, to another Exo Heroes 101 because I want to talk about gears because I received suggestions that I should make a video about gears although I was able to make a video about gears previously but this time it's going to be an Exos Heroes 101 wherein we are going to be in depth or we are going to be how do you say this um, I forgot the term but we are going to be specific so that I'll try my best to explain it to you so that you'll be able to understand how gearing works after the Season 5 update. So that will be all guys. Please continue to support me by subscribing to my Twitch channel. And also in my YouTube channel as well where you can see all of my other Exos Heroes content and other games as well. So this is Bear Gaming. Have a nice day.